Hey, we're back uh, playing Splunky 2 on stream. Haven't streamed in, in a month and a half, which is why the stream VODs haven't been hitting YouTube. It's because there wasn't any streams, but um, we're back and better than ever. Let's, I mean, dude, frickin', we'll do the daily challenge. And then we'll just, like, chat about life while we play Spelunky 2. It's been so long since since we've played. Um, how was the Europe trip? The Europe trip was fantastic. Um... Except for the part where I ended up getting uh, the upper respiratory disease that started a pandemic in modern society. That part was was less ideal, one could argue. Um, but as a whole, I mean, honestly, it was still great. <laughs> it was still great. A lot of really awesome experiences. Um, I, I was subjected to being in France for a little bit, which a lot of you, a lot of you get. That part's a little, you know... It's a little bit sus when you gotta be in France. Hey, are you gonna be a little son of a gun? Not that big of a son of a gun. We're chillin'. We're chillin'. Okay, see ya. That went fine. That went very, very fine. Um, but the trip was good. I, I'm happy to talk more about it. I just wanna cover everything else going on in the chat. Am I gonna cover Slice and Dice 2.0? I would like to. Okay. It's, it's a big, um... It's a big would like to. It's also a big no clue when I'm going to have the time to. Uh, the problem with Slice and Dice, if I'm being perfectly honest, I don't know, dude, are we gonna do this? I should not do it, so I'm not going to do it. <laughs> I'm a, Look, my, my Spelunky skills, I still have a lot of confidence, okay? In, in my poor abilities, but I also need the I need to curb the enthusiasm just a little bit and maybe not try to kill shopkeeps on my first run back. I should probably have done a, a practice run before we did this for real legit right here right now, but it's it's all good. Um, we'll, we'll just do it. Frick it, we'll do it live, right? Just learn the Olmec fight. How about you? I know how to do the Olmec fight. It's so easy. It's the easiest thing ever. Um, you're you're the one that doesn't know how to do the Olmec fight. I do it correctly. Everybody else does it stupidly. Okay. Okay. Let's let's do this. Come in here, please. It's it's probably going to be ass in here. You got a secret shop for me? Oh, you do have a little extra. Extra moolah for me. Secret shop, secret shop, not feeling it. Okay, you know what? Fair enough. You, you, whatever. There's just a whole frick load of nothingness over here. I'll leave. That's fine. Um, I would like to cover Slice and Dice. The The issue I have with Slice and Dice is the runs are like an hour and a half long, which makes it a, a difficult stream segment and a difficult YouTube segment all at the same time. Um, cause then I'm probably cutting one run into two videos and then people get like really pissy <laughs> when you do that. Um, so I, I don't know. Okay. That's not enough money. Um, I, I don't know when I'm going to cover it, but I would like to cover it again sometime soon. Okay. I did go to Europe. Yes. Um, f food is the only good part of France. So here's, here's the thing. Okay. When, when I went to France, we went to... Strasbourg, okay? And Strasbourg, for those that, that don't know anything about France, uh, Strasbourg is, is literally just Germany. <laughs> it's just Germany. Um, the damn city has been passed back and forth between the French and the, the Germans so many damn times that it's, it's impossible to tell who actually owns it half the time. Um, so the food there is honestly like extremely German in in nature um which was fine with me because i like german food um probably like in terms of european cuisine i had a, a damn jolly good time eating german food um so i can't really say that i i necessarily had french food because i i didn't really have french food i had german food but German food is based. It's just Germany with a baguette. Kind of, yeah. Like, there's, there's a good amount of bread. And then you also get, like, the, the French pastry kind of thing. So, like, Anna and I had... We, we bought an extremely legit eclair from the one place. Um, that was delicious. It, honestly, one of the better eclairs I've ever had in my life. Um, 
but then you go and like the next street over is a, a pretzel shop and you're like okay that's that's pretty that what the frick is going on over here there are too many enemies in this area um so it's it was it was great i mean i i had a, a just absolute whale of time i did have a a french macaron in in france which was cool i i do enjoy a good macaron and anna uh anna is a she's a big baker as many of you possibly know um so she she has attempted macarons now i believe she makes swiss macarons but uh to be able to eat like a, a good french macaron was was kind of cool right uh let's see what what else i mean there, there's legitimately so much that i could talk about uh from the trip uh including like getting covid and, and that entire situation uh as well i will say if you're interested in like knowing a lot about my trip um i did basically do like an entire podcast with orbital in the finale of the fortnite series where i talked like ad nauseum about the trip um so if you are interested in more about the trip i'd highly recommend watching that video you get a lot of the good stories and, and things like that he just freaking died okay well that seems a little unnecessary for you to die that quickly uh do do we want to go jungle i also need to set up a damn prediction man do we go jungle or do we go uh the place that isn't the jungle i also have to put in my damn two-factor code into twitch let's just put that right into the the twitch chat for everybody to see uh oops you need my password to log in ha 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 uh okay here we go manage prediction predictions already been made what the frick okay <laughs> okay fair enough here then i'll also say thank you to everybody dig and hide thanks eight months in a row observatory silence you eight months in a row thank you more than awesome good to see you dude 10 months in a row Paters and Kato, six months in a row. Chucky person, 16 months in a row. Egg, 35. Holy frick. Fam, 51. What in the world? Phoenix, 36. Mohilly, 11. Parakeet, 13. Lemur, 18. Thank you guys very much. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. You're all very, very kind. Thank you for also um, coming back to my stream after I left for a month and a half. It really is like a fear inside of a creator's mind um, that you're going to leave and then come back and nobody's gonna watch you anymore dude i actually think that going uh this way is completely fine on this run but it's it's always a fear in your mind it was it was tough because i i backlogged so many videos <laughs> for the european trip um like i literally backlogged in the end it was something like 34 videos that i backlogged for that trip um, and then in the end, I came home with COVID, couldn't really record when I got home because it, it's, there's this situation that occurs, uh, and I've talked about it actually a, a fair bit before. Whenever you take a break from making content and then you come back to making content, um, your voice can't, like your lung capacity is shot. People that talk a lot will know this, okay? Um, but then normally happens to me at the end of vacations um, is I come back and then I, I literally, I can do like one video and then I'm good and I can't do anything else. Um, with with the Europe trip, right? I took two weeks off <laughs> from, from recording basically, which is a frick load of time. Um, I don't think I've ever taken two weeks off of recording like in the past I don't know, six years of my life, more or less. Um, so that that alone was insane. But then I came back and uh, proceeded to... I can, I can get a free uh, free thingy here. Dude, I can get all kinds of free stuff here. Th this is actually like pretty lit over here. We're, we're going to do that real quick to get the cape. And then I'm going to buy your turkeys. And I'm going to sack your turkeys. I'm going to get... Are you freaking kidding me? I'm, I'm gonna sack the turkeys. I'm going to get ourselves a little Kapala action. That's gonna end poorly for Tyler. <laughs> okay, yeah, fair enough. Honestly, I respect it. Um, 
I was about to ask, where's the, uh... Where's the damn bow? And then I realized that we get that on this level. Okay, we're fine. Everything's very chill right now. Um, sure, to toss a rope up. We, we can afford, dude. We, we got plenty of, plenty of ropes. We got a good chunk of bombs. Don't go over there. You don't, you little stupid idiot. Okay, we're fine. Um, But you come back from the trip and you, you have... You don't have the lung capacity to, to do the whole YouTube thing. With also having COVID, it was freaking impossible to to talk. Um, so it made it hard. And then literally I left on a trip like the next week <laughs> as well. Fam, have a good night, dude. So I, my, my schedule has been like extremely fricked. I'm, I'm so happy to be home for like... I'm gonna be home for like a month and then I'm taking another small trip, but just don't don't uh, don't say a word, okay? Don't say a word. Turkey, just just live my life. Live your life. Live everybody's life. How, how the hell many things do I need the sack to get a damn Kapala in this joint? Also, where the heck is my my other dude? Because I, I got the other guy to find too. He, he's got to be somewhere as well. Does taking a break from content also make the whole stream of consciousness thing harder to do? Or is that just a skill that stays with you? Uh, that's a good... I'm dumb, it's so freaking stupid. Um, that's a good question. I do... Oh, Jesus. <laughs> Alright, pay the people out. Um, I do think that it can be... It can be a little bit harder. Um, but it's also like, I've been, I've been maturing the whole talking and like the, the whole talking and, and playing games thing I've been doing it for so long now that it, it doesn't really go away at least not not in the two week period I'll say what the frick <laughs> you just did the, the crazy jump dude okay here I am, I die one second, and then the next second I do literally the hardest jump in the game. Okay, feels good. Feels very good. Um, But yeah, needless to say, like, the, the whole making content thing has been... It's been a little bit more challenging. And then on top of it, I mean, as many of you are probably aware that the channel is not doing like as good as it's done in the past a lot of that is the lack of isaac on the channel some of it is just like an extreme lack of youtube helping me out in the algorithm it's been actually a little bit better recently um there were a couple of videos that that ended up doing like ungodly well for no good reason um couple potion craft videos really really popped off and then some other stuff as well um i don't know dude do we want to get weird all right let's get weird there's no way this ends poorly right so he's now all the way down there i'm gonna steal all his stuff i've done my my one singular run of being normal now i can be a little freak um he's already dead okay put one of those there that's good and then we can do a little one of those and then we can take a little one of these and then we go on a little damn journey this way now did you you did not get smashed by that let's think you know what that might work did not work okay i gotta think about this <laughs> some something something is not okay with this I want to get like, okay, I mean, I'm going to tell you, that did not accomplish in the absolute slightest what my intention was here, um, but we'll, we'll let her vibe for right now. What the frick does this, oh, the key is for the stupid, the dude's shop has a, a keyhole in it. That's fine, whatever. Inventing poop had something to do with that? Even that video was not the one that did insanely well. There was there was a different one that did like really really well and I I had no idea why, but I just I just sometimes the YouTube algorithm works in weird ways, dude. I've been seeing where my videos do like completely fine. They're like normal fine for the first part of the day, and then like 6 hours after I upload, it has a spike for like 
3,000 views in the middle of the night, and I have no idea why. And it's it's very, very strange. Um, I've been seeing that a lot recently. But um, the, the bright side is I, I do have actually a fair number of, like, I'm going to call them plans for, for content. You know, continuing to do things like the indie taste test and the the budget roguelike videos and and some other kind of more edited down kind of content i think could could create some fun stuff in the future uh, so it's kind of the the nice part about taking a, a long break from making content is it, it does rejuvenate so sorry um it does rejuvenate the brain a little bit um and, and get the wheels kind of flowing on stuff and a lot of people always ask me, they're like, you know, what, what's your motivation for doing YouTube? And I guess in, in some ways Twitch. Uh, and I, I tend to say the exact same thing, which is... Oh, he already went. Um, I tend to say the same thing, which is basically just, I, I don't really know how to stop working. Um, I, I just like working. <laughs> I, I'm not very good at relaxing, is, is my problem. Um, which it, it sounds like I'm completely forgot there was going to be a guy down there that's that's my bad that's the kind of stuff like my my spelunky brain just it ain't turned on necessarily but it's definitely one of those things where like it sounds like i'm in a job interview right and they ask you what's your greatest weakness and you're always like well my greatest weakness is i'm a bit of a perfectionist i try to make things too perfect you know i i love working it's it's a problem for me i tend to work way more than than what i actually uh actually should and you say all of the things that that tend to be like trigger words for hire me right and i feel like most most people that hire realize that and then use that to your disadvantage but that's beside the point um for me it's it's legitimately true and it's it's actually like a massive weakness <laughs> in, in my life um i just I, i'm not good at relaxing um, so when I take a long vacation like this, it's like, it's, it's really nice for like a week. Um, and then after that week, I'm like, okay, I'm, I'm ready to do work again. You know, it's like when I had COVID legitimately, it was the freaking worst, right? Because not only was it where like, I, I had to, how do I word this? I had to rest. Like, I was not going to get better if I did not rest. But resting is so freaking boring. It's insane. So I'm, like, sitting on the couch, and I'm, I'm, I feel like I'm good enough. Like, I feel good enough to record, but the lung capacity is not good enough to record, right? You know, like, the rest of me is, like, I'm, I'm ready to go. Because when you're sick, I mean, sometimes you just... All you can do is lay on the couch, which is what I had for like three days with COVID. Um, but then you, you, especially COVID, it has this like lingering window where it just stays for a while. And it's not quite like, it's not quite bad enough for you to be incapacitated, but you're not good enough to do all of the normal things that you do. I just killed myself to falling in 1-4. We're having a rough time right now. But I promise you, we're, we're going to bring this one back, okay? We're bringing it back. Um, but that that's how it was for me with COVID. It's like, it it sucked because I wasn't quite good enough to work. <laughs> Which is such a, it's such a, honestly, sick and twisted thing to say. But, I mean, look, that's, it is what it is, right? It is what it is. Um, what was for dinner? Dinner, <laughs> believe it or not, the memes kind of write themselves. Um, Anna and I made the infamous soup that I've talked about like literally a hundred thousand times. Um, I We made the infamous soup last night. And then we had leftovers for today. Basically, we always try to plan um, where we, we make something a little bit bigger on a Monday so that on Tuesday I can just heat it up and stream right after work. Uh, and then I don't have to, to make dinner. So, we, we, we had, we had the good soup. And honestly, it was fantastic. We, we did realize, so last night, um, we're, we're about to go, the main, like, spice inside of the soup is Old Bay seasoning, right? And, uh, one, I love Old Bay. If you haven't had Old Bay, 
definitely pick yourself up some Old Bay and then put it on like potatoes, right? Um, or make the soup. Also acceptable. Um, I'll I'll spend that for that. It's a net positive. But um, soup recipe question mark? I've talked about this soup recipe so many damn times. It's insane. <laughs> what are we doing? <laughs> I'm I'm so sorry. I'm so I don't know how I thought that one was going to work. Um, but we we were going and we we normally since Anna's vegetarian, um. All of our, our soup broths, we do veggie stock instead of like a chicken stock or a beef stock. Um, and to make it just more you know, effective for our lives, we use uh, a bouillon instead of um, like buying actual stock because stock goes bad like crazy quick and you can never use like enough of it uh, to merit. Like, you always end up wasting it when you only have two people and you're making something with stock in it. So, uh, the bouillon's just easier to do. Uh, well, we started making the soup and then we realized that we were, like, partially... We didn't quite have enough bouillon. It called for, for six cups of stock. Um, but we only had... We only had, like, enough for... I'm gonna say three and a half, right? Uh, so immediately we were like, okay, we should probably, like, go get more bullion but it's like 7 30 at night and i don't really want to i don't really want to drive out to the grocery store especially because i literally went to the grocery store earlier in the day uh for all the ingredients for the soup and just thought that we had enough bullion to survive but then i pull out the the old bay that you need for the soup um and we realized that the old bay has been expired since like literally two and a half years ago so we've been making We've been making the damn soup with expired spices, which like spices don't, they don't really expire, right? Um, but they can like, the flavor can get lessened a little bit. Um, so we were both expecting to like have the soup just be this insanely different flavor since we've been using an expired spice the entire time. Uh, the soup tasted exactly the same by the way, but that's, that's beside the point. Um, what was I talking about? <laughs> I don't know, man. What are, what are we doing? What are we doing? Anna doesn't eat chicken wings? No, that's a big part of being a vegetarian is not eating chicken. Any other questions? She also does not eat cheeseburger um, unless it is a, a vegetarian cheeseburger, meaning a Beyond Meat of some kind. Um, such a strange question. Anna doesn't eat chicken wings. <laughs> little freak am i gonna go to therapy one day for this addiction to work uh probably not if i'm being honest with you it's just like i don't know is is nice to work sometimes it's therapeutic right why why go to therapy when i have my own therapy called working right is baba's you as fun as some other puzzle games you've played on the channel before i'm going to be 100% honest with you when I say this, okay? I might be having the most fun playing Baba is You than any game I've played on the channel this year. And I, I mean that sincerely. That said, I'll probably end the series like next week. <laughs> because I, I can already see where it's going, okay? I, I recorded the next episode today uh, during my lunch. It'll come out tomorrow, most likely. Um, I spent, I, it's a 55 minute video. I did, I, I worked on a grand total of six levels and solved one. Like, is actually, the challenge levels are too hard for me to do in a video. Like, it, it's actually just, I, I maybe need to do them on stream, but I also think that's a really, really terrible idea. Um, cause I'm just gonna get extremely freaking tilted again at chat which is why i dropped the last bob is you series but i can tell like the comment section is super chill right now i mean they, they were chill even with the hints i didn't do any hints in today's video um we're, we're gonna see we're gonna see how it goes um my plan is that i'm going i, I told in the video for everybody to leave hints for those levels um, and then we'll see if that, that can help me. And then from there, we'll, we'll kind of, we'll figure out 
where it goes. But the, the fact of the matter is, I, I really am enjoying Baba is You. Um, I, it's been... It... it the, the real truth is that I freaking love puzzle games. Like, if I could move my channel to be only puzzle games, I would. But the problem is, like, nobody wants to watch that. <laughs> Pretty much nobody likes watching puzzle games to begin with, from what I can tell. Because um, every time I do a puzzle game, the views freaking tank on it. Um, I am also going to go jungle on this one since I have a jetpack. But, um... I, I really am enjoying it a lot, and I would happily continue to play more Baba is You as long as people are happy enough watching it. If the if the series maintains the, like, one, like 1,500 to 2,000 view range, then I'll probably continue playing it, is my current opinion. Will I return to Revita? Um, for the, the 1.2 patch or whatever the hell it is. Yes, I will. Um, I'm looking forward to it. I've missed playing Revita, despite my being completely ass at it. Um, but yeah, I, I will return to it for the next update. There's a couple of different series that we're gonna be doing here in the next, like, two weeks. Um... One is going to start sooner. It's going to start, like, this week. Another is going to start closer to the end of the month. Um, I, I got a lot of stuff planned, if I'm being perfectly honest with you. I'm like, Since I'm finally home, I can, I can work on some of the stuff that I, I have wanted to do. And here and there, I'm going to have a little bit more, more spare free time as well. Um, dude, there's so many... So many dudes here. <laughs> There's like too many men. I was almost incredible. You're dead, unfortunate. I'm just gonna keep on farming these suckers. Why not, right? Puzzle games are kind of uncomfortable to watch. Whenever the viewer figures out the solution before the streamer, it becomes annoying to watch. Yeah, I mean, that's the problem, <laughs> right? That, that's literally just the problem. Um, and when you're playing a game that's also like, I don't know, six years old, um, everybody already knows the answers like it's it's very difficult to then find somebody that that doesn't know everything so i i am to be honest with you i'm surprised that the reception on the series was as good as what it was to begin with because i i didn't really expect it to be it was a series i was 100 percent doing because i just wanted to do it um and then the fact that people actually cared about it um made me even happier because then it was like oh this is super easy to record um because i i basically i just recorded it because it was easy to do um it was easy to do while i was i could do an eggplant run huh i could do an eggplant run but i can't do the um i can't do the bow ah, that's not necessarily true i guess i still could because i could get a dude to carry it okay i mean i'll try yeah i'll try it's been a while since I've done an eggplant run. So I'll I'll, I'll give it a a shake. Does he even know what a teaspoon is? Isn't that a Tetris? <laughs> what the hell does Tetris have to do with anything? I am bad at Tetris though. Oh, there you go. In terms of puzzle games, Tetris or Puyo Puyo are the only puzzle games that have good viewership. I wouldn't even call Tetris a puzzle game. That's a that's an extremely weak definition of a puzzle game in my eyes. But that's fine. Yoink. You're dead. You're dead. I had a damn blast doing it as well. You're dead. I'm a little dude, this eggplant, I'm Oh, I forgot about the black market, man. Okay. Uh Can I see it? It's right there. Okay. Um, I don't have paste, which is fun. Thanks. Take me in. Let's do this. Welcome to the black market. Happy to be here. Okay, dude, this runs, this runs going. We got some stuff here. Welcome, hired hand. 
I really don't want you to carry my eggplant, for what it's worth, but possibly in the future we could we could give you the honor. No, we're probably gonna make you carry everything else. I don't need to buy the hedget either, but I did, so just shut up, okay? Now, we're looking for bombs. We're looking for bombs, we're looking for, for ropes. I got no money? What the frick? Where'd my money go? Okay, I can't afford Jack Diddley Squat in here. Um, can't buy Hulk hands, huh? Nope, too expensive. Not, not that expensive, though. Like, I can now afford them. And I will go get them. Just give me one, one hot second. I am not gonna let him touch my eggplant, no. Um, now, I will say we don't have paste. <laughs> Which is, like, actually horrific. I don't know how we're gonna do this without pace, but that's- that's fine. Is there a plan for more plate up? Um, at the current moment in time, no, there is not a plan in place for more plate up. Um, are there people actively against doing more plate up? No, there is not. So I'm not saying that it it won't happen. I'm just saying that it's it don't. You little stupid idiot. I'm not saying it won't happen. I'm just saying that right now it boils down to I don't have the money for you. It boils down to uh, we don't have like a scheduled time slot to do it right now. But I'm not against doing more and I know the other boys are not against doing more. Everybody enjoyed it a lot. And to be honest with you, reception on YouTube was was fine for it. Um, multiplayer never does well on YouTube, which I'll never understand because it's legitimately always funnier than anything I could do alone. Um, but yeah, it, it, was, it, was, it was fun. I had a good time. Paste, we love to see it. Um, need to get a little bit of cash. And that cash is non-existent. Dude, how do we have no money on this level? I I need the money in order to, to do the damn bow. My stream title says trip to the cosmic ocean. How am I going to explain when I don't make it to the cosmic ocean? I know I can bomb the walls. I only got four bombs, dude. I'm trying to preserve some of my some of my life. Okay. Okay, let's let's do Just going to sneak into here real right quick. You you got any got any of that money over here? Nope, not feeling it. Okay. You ain't got no money over here either. What a miserable uh what a miserable life we're leading. Um I guess we can do the bow. What do I have to do in there? Oh, it's the damn full chase and a half. Okay, I have to bomb a wall. And the bomb, the wall I will bomb is right here. That gives me the 10,000 and we're fine. Uh, hello, Orville Potato. Why, why are you here? You don't care about Spelunky. Freaking little Fortnite loser. Don't you have Fortnite to play? Oh, no, just kidding. We ended this series. I forgot. You'd think I would have remembered, since I don't have to do it this Thursday. <laughs> oh, it's good stuff. It's good stuff. Only a matter of time before we, we start the next adventure in the Orbital and Alexa cinematic universe, whenever that may be. Uh, it's not ready, though. It's not ready. Orbital co-op Spelunky, but Orbital is muted because co-op is bad on YouTube. Can he be muted in the Discord call as well? Like, is that... Because if he could be muted in the call as well, you might be on to something. That would be kind of fun. But, uh... No, I don't think Orville and I will be playing co-op Spelunky 2 any, anytime soon. We, we did do it <laughs> in the past, now that I think about it. Which, which that, that's a series, to be honest with you, that I think, um... Most people have entirely forgotten that me, Orbital, and Jonas did a Spelunky 2 multiplayer series. How freaking cursed was that, man? I completely forgot about that. Okay, um, I need you to pick up that bow. Pick up the bow. No, like, like, seriously, pick up the bow. 
pick pick up there you go okay good good work my friend now don't die on the spikes while i slowly make it to the end of he he slipped and fell he slipped and fell which means he dropped the freaking what are you doing that's not the bow you little stupid okay where the hell did you put the bow you put the bow in the middle of the most dangerous spot okay what's what's your problem you go over there i need this bow Give me the arrow. Are you just going sickle mode down here? Here, stupid. Pick up the bow. Go pick up the bow. The bow. You... I'm gonna scream, I think. I I have never been more mad than, than this moment right here while playing Spelunky 2. The son of a gun... Is just the dumbest little piece of garbage I've ever seen in my damn life. Okay. I'll hydrate. That sounds good. Okay, one one more one more fair shake. While we spelunky too. And then we move on. Why is he attacking me? Because I whipped him a couple too many times, which is like completely fair. You shouldn't whip strangers unless you're hitting the nay nay afterward, if you catch my drift. Um You you didn't, because you're all zoomers. None of you even know what the whip and nene is. This is from my generation. Just kidding, it's totally not. Um, hey Aaron, thank you so much for the 44 months in a row. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Padre Trace, five months in a row. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Very kind. Really do appreciate everybody uh resubbing after I've been gone. Just means that you care about me a little bit, which is in among itself is a pretty nice thing to to know. After a, a long break from streaming, um, yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna do this. This is gonna end poorly for Tyler. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Just took a damn shotgun to the head. I don't really know how we're how we're doing this one. Okay. <laughs> Do I have a, a good plan for my great escape? I'm thinking about it. I think that great escape is going to occur over here. Okay, guess what? He's done it. Ah! <laughs> okay, that was fun. We have fun here. Um, I'm gonna leave now, I think. What the heck? The key's on this floor? Is it over here? Where the hell is the key door entrance, man? I had no idea this was here. Okay. Just just give bring bring me up here. And then I'm gonna I'm gonna take a small trip all the way back up here. Where the heck is this door? There's this here as well? Okay, it's right here. What a what a damn ride this has been. If you think about it, life is pay to win. I mean, yeah, it's called capitalism. Literally need money to survive in society. Hence, pay to win. The part that's messed up is I can choose to not play a gacha game. I can't choose to not play life. Just kidding, I could. <laughs> you, you get what I'm saying, okay? You, you get it. We're paying for COVID? I mean, it's not like I have treatments that I have to to afford right now. I do appreciate your kindness, though. If you ever play gacha games, I don't know what I'll do. I don't really have any plans to play any gacha games uh, anytime soon. What the frick? The only... I'm, I'm just going to say it, okay? You're going to hate when I say this, though. I'm so mad. I got stuck on the damn wall. The only gacha game that I would ever, ever consider playing is, like, Genshin Impact. Only because I actually think the game looks kind of pretty, right? But that's the only one I would do. I'm not going to. Because <laughs> I got better things on my to-do list. Don't hit me with the WTF. The, like, landscapes in the game are gorgeous. 
It's got that like Breath of the Wild feel to it. I could also just like play Breath of the Wild or I'm sorry, Tears of the Kingdom. Can we talk about the fact that Nintendo freaking blocked the direct today uh, from the United Kingdom after the Queen's death? And the name of their game is the Tears of the Kingdom. <laughs> I I was losing my mind at that, dude. It would be I I'm gonna say this, okay, and I mean it. I need you to take it as a uh, slightly witty remark, right? But can you imagine if King Charles would have died during the Nintendo Direct? <laughs> it would have been the most memorable thing in gaming history. And literally, King Charles dies and then, you know, Miyamoto gets on the screen and goes, Next up, <laughs> the Tears of the Kingdom. Rest in peace. The Queen and Charles of, of Wales. It would be so freaking funny. <laughs> uh, the things that could happen in society, but we we miss out on. <laughs> okay. I also, dude. I look. I don't want to talk too too much about the Queen's death. It, the, whatever you do, like caring about the royalty. I'm just gonna say right now. Okay, I don't really care that the Queen died. I'm. I live in Ohio. I don't. We don't even care about our president, let alone the, you know, uh, hierarchical monarch of a country for 70 years, right? Uh, we just. It's not something the U.S cares about now there are some people in the u.s dude that care like a lot about the the whole queen situation while we were so we were driving uh in florida when i'm gonna kill myself with this dog um we were driving in florida when we read the announcement that the queen died and we pull into a gas station to get gas and some like classic american redneck in his truck yells out at us from the gas station and he's like did y'all hear and we were like what and he goes the queen's dead long live king charles we were like yeah <laughs> it was a very very strange moment for sure um i don't even know where to take this one <laughs> to be honest with you <laughs> It, it was a, it was a strange, strange thing for sure. But I, I don't really care about the queen in any way. I'm just gonna be honest with you. But there, there is something to be said that that she made a, a, an impact on society. She was definitely a figure that that worked hard at what she did. This run sucks. I, I should just throw this one away. How the hell am I getting all the way over there? Um, she was somebody that constantly worked hard until the day she died. You know, there's, there's a lot of honorable things about her. She did raise, um, like, uh, two pedophiles and horrible humans. But, I mean, we can look past that, probably, right? That was what I was going to talk about, was there, there's this video of a dude, the, the queen, the queen's casket was going through Scotland yesterday or today, something like that. I think it was yesterday. Uh, Orbital would know, right? Um, but there's a dude in the crowd and he just keeps on shouting in a British accent. Oi! Prince Andrew, you're a, you're a sick, sick man or something like that. It's, it's a very surreal video. And then the dude gets like decked four times by <laughs> other people in the crowd. And the guy got arrested. I was like, man, this is wild. <laughs> this is just a, a wild situation for sure it's a video that is 100 percent worth watching though it's literally like pure silence as the queen's body's going down and there's just a guy like screaming oi you're all sick it's it's good i would i would recommend my friend knows the guy that shouted that's like, so much better that is so much better <laughs> that is so good I was laughing my ass off when I saw it, dude. Speaking of videos that I laugh my ass off at, th this is one 
you, look, we we're now keep in mind that this will go to YouTube, right? So we're we're like we're forty five minutes deep in the video, so. Susan, you know, Wojanecki is not going to watch this part, so I can dig into this one. I saw a video earlier of, it's a film director that's directing a film that uh, Kirsten Dunst is in. And uh, the guy is in the interview, and I don't even know how it gets to this conversation, but he starts talking about his German heritage, and partway through he's just like, yeah, after looking up stuff, Yo, know, I've I now realize I'm a Nazi, and I was like, "Whoa, that seems like a little bit of a, a tall thing to say in the middle of the the video." And then the dude just keeps going. He's going like, "Yes, yes, you know, Hitler was an honorable man," and I'm like, "What the like? Cut the tape, dude! <laughs> Stop talking!" And and Kristen Dunn's sitting next to him, and she just keeps on going like, <laughs> "It's." It's so good. Like, it's honestly one of the funniest videos I've ever seen in my life. The the dude, it's like he didn't know how to stop talking. Like he's obviously like a freaking mega idiot, right? I'm not. I'm not saying the dude's not. Like he he's he's got some messed up stuff in the head. Um, but it's also like the dude didn't know how to stop, and he just kept digging himself deeper in in the hole repeatedly. Like I I can't. There, that's about as far as I can say, because if I said more, like, Twitch would probably start to clock my channel with some stuff. But I, you have to look up this video. Just, just look up uh, Kirsten Dunst and German Director. The video is freaking wild. Like, I, I was losing my mind when I saw it earlier. I'm probably allowed to play it on stream, but I'm not going to play it on stream. I, I have a reputation to uphold. It's a crazy video, though. I just bought glasses I didn't need. That feels good. There, it's a wild world out there, dude. Just just a, just a crazy amount of stuff to, to see and hear in society these days. I have no idea what to do in this situation. I know what to do. I'm just going to do that. Uh, did you eat the right person? You did eat the right person. Here you go. I will say, I think this run is still, like, a big old L. But we'll we'll vibe with it for right now. I'm not gonna play the video. The dude literally starts praising Hitler in the middle of the video. I'm not playing the video on stream. You can look it up and you can watch it. It's, it's really funny in, like, a, a very sad way. Okay. We don't condone anything said in the video, but Kirsten Dunst watching her uh, life basically fade and her movie become a walking disaster was... It was comedic, to say the least. It was really good. I, I can't stop thinking about it. I've been thinking about that video all day long today. It's so funny. And it's just one of those things I, I can't... I can't talk about that in a YouTube video. <laughs> like it's 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 too it's too messed. As soon as you start talking about Hitler, like all of a sudden <laughs> things get they get a little spicy. Okay, uh, we're just being real. No, this is bad. Okay. No, 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 no. You gotta chill, brother. Little manky, you gotta chill. Okay, we're vibing. Did something did? What the hell are you talking about? That's not proper English. I can't understand it. Was it the one with Lars von Trier? That sounds right for sure, because his name sounds uh, extremely German. This is bananas. Yeah, you found the right one. <laughs> I, I can't imagine that there's been that many interviews that Kirsten Dunst has done with German directors. So... 11 years ago, YouTube said? What the hell? I saw it today, dude. Hold on. Now, now I gotta look this up. Kirsten Dunst interview German. What the hell? Kirsten Dunst interview with the vampire? What the frick? Oh, th this is gonna be a... 
Maybe this was 2011. Nah, dude, I don't think so. I don't think this was it. Hold on, I'll I'll find you guys the video and I'll put it in chat. It it's it's a wild one, dude. It's so good. Here you go. Th this this is where I saw it. Here you go. It's it's so good. Okay, let's get out of this level. I got 46 bombs, dude, which is pretty good. I'm I'm pretty happy. Let's just go. Watch that clip, but watch it. Honestly, watch it right now. Whatever I'm going to say in the next, like, four minutes is not going to be that important. As, like, as I was watching that clip, right, I... I kept on, like, I, I expected it to be, you know, he said something a little messed, and then that was the clip, right? And I was going to be like, oh, yeah, that was pretty bad. And then the dude just kept going. <laughs> he just kept going repeatedly over and over and over. It was, it was like, you, you could have stopped at any point, and yet you just kept going. <laughs> it was, it was so good. This is hilarious. Yeah, it's actually the funniest video I've ever watched in a, in a very sad and sadistic way. It was really good, though. Uh, okay, we don't have the money to do literally anything in here, so that's fun. What, what have I been doing? Oh yeah, I've been talking about uh, the queen this entire time. So I, I haven't really been paying an ounce of attention to what's going on. That seems accurate and on brand in a lot of ways. Um, how am I going to get the money to secure myself a successful mission? Well, there's several things we could do. I could kill the shopkeeps. I think, I think that's likely a horrible idea. Okay, I'm, I'm just going to be honest. It seems like an absolutely majestically terrible idea. It would end the segment a little bit quicker. You know what? That, that, is, that is actually a, a, fair, a fair argument to make. Um, do I really need anything but the hedget? It's another question. I guess I don't really need anything but the hedget. So we could... I mean, we also got like a million bombs... So I could just make my way back up. We, we do some bombing. <laughs> I, I read one of the quotes from the, from the clip, but I, I can't read it out loud. That's one that I, I refuse to acknowledge out loud, but <laughs> it, is, it is so good. It's so good. The YouTube folk are going to be so confused when this one uh, hits, hits YouTube. Because it, it's been a wild ride. For sure. For the start of this stream. Okay. We have fun here. Don't don't tell me you didn't miss me. Um, okay, where am I going? Honestly, kinda love the idea of just going down here. I, I think that we we accomplish a fair bit by coming down here. I think we could go extreme sicko what the this is not what I wanted. I think we could go extreme sicko mode right here. You ready for this action? I'm I'm gonna go I'm gonna go full insanity. We're we're gonna pop the ghost into the situation. I'm gonna leave. Go all the way down here, and then guess what? Now now we here, we vibing. I'm gonna get a little bit more of this, and then I'm gonna come in here, and then nope, not gonna come in there. I'm gonna come down here. Ah! <laughs> I'm not gonna come down there. I'm gonna come up here. Oh, this is gonna <laughs> this is gonna end. Yep, that's the sound of the ghost splitting. Nope, that's the sound of him obliterating things. Yes, that's good. That's very good. Um, I'm gonna leave. I think. I think that would be probably the best situation for me. I don't have spike. Um, I left the bow behind. <laughs> okay. This, this is a problem. This, this is going to be a problem for me. Okay. Okay. 
No, dude, I was so close. I was so close. Damn it. <laughs> Whatever, that was fun. I had a good time playing Spelunky 2 again. It's been it's been a hot minute, man, since we played Spelunky 2. I'm I'm happy to play it again. Um, that was fun.